Good morning and welcome to this channel. Uh, I wanted to show you today how to make ferrofluid. Um, there's a number of ways to do this and I'll just go over this. This stuff is mineral oil. It's just basically mineral oil that you can buy in the pharmacy. Um, you need some sort of um, agent that prevents the tiny um, iron or ferrous uh, uh, iron oxide particles from clumping together and you can use uh, like olive oil or oleic acid to prevent that from happening. So here's some oleic acid that I bought. Uh, then you need um, iron oxide or magnetic hematite as this one's called. It's not, this is actually not magnetic but it, um, it's, fi it's fine particles. It's uh, you know a fine grade of it. It's probably not colloidal so it's not like the stuff that you would see in regular ferrofluid but it's um, it's pretty down there in size. I mean, it's like a fine dust. It gets everywhere. Um, so, this stuff will work. You can also try um, various types of uh, toner. Um, not all toner works. I, mean, I bought some toner that I thought was going to work and tried it out and it did nothing. So, uh, you have to check. You could basically go and check toner cartridges to see whether the contents of them stick to a, a magnet. You could use a strong magnet like a neodymium uh, alloy magnet and the ones that are magnetic are the ones to use because that means they contain small particles of ferromagnetic material. So basically, so here it is, so mineral oil, something like oleic acid, toner that's magnetic, and not all toner, very few of them are actually magnetic, or just go ahead and buy yourself some iron oxide like I did here. Um, and then a magnet. And what I have in this plastic tube here is a is a big neodymium magnet. The reason I put it in plastic is these things are brittle and will shatter. And then that one there on the back of my hand being attracted to the uh, magnet in the tube is a ceramic magnet. And I've got a little tiny cube neodymium magnet right there as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and um, mix some up, some ferrofluid up. What I have here, this is a half teaspoon measure, but you can use whatever size you want. I'm just going to use these. Actually, this is a quarter teaspoon. It's a quarter teaspoon measure, and I'm going to mix it up on this plastic disc here. Just kind of smush it all together, and uh, you can watch me while I'm doing that. So here's a um, quarter teaspoon of run-of-the-mill mineral oil. Now we're going to use about an eighth of a teaspoon of oleic acid, or you could use olive oil. Here's your eighth of a teaspoon of oleic acid. So we mix that in there a bit. Okay, eighth of a teaspoon of oleic acid. Now I've got about a quarter of a teaspoon of the the ferrous material, and we're going to. Mix it all together to make a, a, a sort of a paste. I'm doing that right now. Kind of even grinding it a little bit to sort of break up any clumps. But the purpose of the oleic acid should basically be to do the same thing. So. Okay, we're going to try this now with this uh, neomium magnet and see what that does. And there it goes. It's starting to uh, see if I can focus on it. Just showing the magnetic flux lines, as you can see there. And as I move the magnet, the, the lines change. As I move it away, they get more rounded. And then when I move it really far away, they're all just far apart, fall apart. So now it, it just looks like fluid. Here it is. As I bring it in, it starts reorganizing along the 
flux lines, there it goes. And then it falls apart when we bring it away. Let's try it. I'm going to try the um, ceramic magnet, which is a lot weaker. See what that does. Here's the weaker ceramic magnet. And that also shows a um, similar effect, not quite as pronounced. Now we can try and repel that magnet to see what that looks like. To see if repelling it will, let's see what repelling it does. It just flattens everything out. When I let go it comes back. It's flattened out into a ring at the edge. It's all ended up on the magnet. As you can see there, so it's cleaned it all off of the plate. Very interesting. Okay, this time I've got, I've put some of the um, material underneath water to see if I can do this under water. It seems to work pretty well. There it is underneath the water. To show you that better. Hang on, I'm just going to move this so you can see this better. Actually, if I show you this way, you might better see it better. There, there you go. As I move it away from the magnet, it's like a fern. It just wafts around. And it follows those magnetic field lines. The closer you get in, the more interesting it looks. Let's see if we can look at it from the top. So this does work underwater. Seems like mineral oil seems to uh, hold everything together and prevent it from getting dispersed into the water. Right, well thanks for watching.